Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. If you haven't heard, the Cleveland Cavaliers have hired Coach David Blatt from Europe, most recently of the Maccabi team that won the Triple Crown. So I was very excited to go through his footage to see what he runs on offense, particularly because he's influenced by the Princeton offense, having played for Coach Pete Carrill in the late 70s. So we went through a lot of things. Some of it's pretty clever, and I think it'll work really well with the roster the Cleveland Cavaliers have. Other things might be a little bit challenging because they don't really have the shooters they need yet. Let's first look at a set called Two Down, and I want you to imagine the Cavaliers in the following initial positions. Kyrie out top, Verage out the free throw line, Waiters in the left block, we'll guess they take Jabari Parker and put him on the right wing, and Tristan Thompson on the left wing. The initial action is guard to center pass, who hands it right back before diving down to set a pin down for Waiters. Thompson comes over to create a cross screen option, but in Coach Vlad's system, we've only seen the cutter use the down screen for a shot. Here, you'll see the same option in real time, however, the Cavaliers don't really have the kind of three point shooter that can consistently knock down this catch and shoot. However, I can picture Dion Waiters coming off the pin down using a shot fake and penetrating into the lane like this. You could also swap Kyrie and Waiters and you can see that as they run it to the other side, the pin down can flow right into a screen and roll, allowing the guard to get to the hoop. The pin down focuses the defense on the cutter, allowing the screener at the block a duck in, something Verigel could most likely handle. Next up, we have a set called Fist Down, which is a nifty little weave across the top. It starts with the five screening for the four, who then receives the pass on top. The point guard clears to the corner, while the four initiates a weave across the top. After the second pitch, the four comes up to set an inside screen, opening up all sorts of shots at the hoop. You can imagine either Waiters or Kyrie playing the right corner position getting that pitch at full speed, Verigeau screening and letting them attack the middle. And without question, this same action can spread the defense out and let Kyrie do one of his patented step back jumpers as well. Coach Blatt played at Princeton, so it's no surprise to see backdoor cuts after lulling the defense to sleep. And they've worked in those back doors at every stage of fist down, keeping the defense on their toes. They're also no strangers to adding a little entertainment, as they can get a really nice alley-oop off the inside screen. And finally, a staple of their entire offense is the weak side fill by a three-point shooter sliding in position behind the roll man for open shots. They also have their share of floppy sets. This one lined up as double exit that we see the Warriors and Bulls run a lot, where the shooting guard has his back to the ball so he can see which way the small forward cuts. This flows into simple dribble pitch and ball screen action on the sideline, and Coach Blatt's teams are no strangers to isolations out of this kind of movement. And this same alignment can even break into horns as the two down screeners simply shape up to the high post and the wings flow to the corner where they execute the same things we see NBA teams do. Which brings us to their regular horn set. Here the big men interchange with a screen and you can easily see Kyrie using one screen then crossing over back to the middle. Coach Blatt loves to run horns with an initial ball screen one way then have the weak side high post flare screen the first ball screener then screen the ball himself in an action called pick and roll twist. This alignment opens up the basket area for drives, and this type of action should get plenty of openings for both Kyrie and Waiters. And you see the weak side fill action on almost every ball screen, pulling the weak side defender out of the help position. Another example of pick and roll twist out of horns, and this time the weak side fill results in an open three point shot. Coach Blatt also runs very ho-hum straight pick and roll out on top without motion, and here's more examples of how they generate three-point shots from filling in the weak side wing as the roll man cuts through to the hoop. And lastly, we did see some spread offense like the five out the heat run, 
where they have a designated ball screener and the other four players spot up. But this is their most stagnant stuff, and it was much easier for the defense to take away the initial action and force very, very tough shots. So there you have it, sports fans. Really, really excited to find out what's going to happen with that number one pick tomorrow because that's going to affect a lot of things like what Coach Blatt will be able to run with his offense. I hope to see Jabari Parker's picked unless they trade the pick down and take somebody else. But either way, there's no doubt they need more shooting. That's the bottom line here, as most teams do. So well, stay tuned for lots more coming up on B-Ball Breakdown. And don't forget, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.